I don't know about you. Hi guys, and welcome to my uh, 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 tier list on my nightmares. I'm make, uh, making a tier list uh, for the nightmares that shit me up the most. I feel a bit to stay on my track. Hi guys, I'm making a nightmare tier list that's gonna. The worst ones are the. That was worse. Just gonna go through them. Uh, and then for a little bonus fun, I'm going to look up what, what they mean. See how fucked I am in the head. I, I don't need these headphones. I just realised. No sound coming out, so... Don't want to pull a uh, Alfred Hitchcock's gun on you. Uh, where you think the headphones are going to come into play at some point. But they they were, n they were not part of the, this video. Coming in at number uh, one, the first one I'm going to do is uh, this little uh, angry boy picture. There's a picture of a little angry boy, and that's symbolising uh, people being angry at me. Uh, that's a pretty common thing in most of my dreams. Uh, at some point, someone is pissed off uh, at something I'm doing, uh, or is upset. So, this one I'm going to put at a uh, B here just because it's never it's never really like the main plot or the the main shit you know that's gonna wake me up with uh sweats but it's just always an element you know it's always there sprinkled in like a like like sprinkles let's see what it means if someone is mad at you uh in your dream let's look this up um, blah, 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 big article needs to be addressed. Red flags. <laughs> Second one up is an animals. Uh, it's it's always about taking care of the animals. Uh, you know, it's like I realised that uh, I own a tiger all of a sudden, and uh, it's starving to death because I didn't realise it existed until uh, that point. You know, so I have to suddenly rush to feed it, and it's stuck in like a, a small hamster cage. So it can't really, you know, move or anything, and it's, it's I always end up feeling very uh, bad and uh, panicky. So this one's going to be quite high because it uh, shits me up quite a lot. There's a lot of uh, time limits and anxiety involved in get, getting these animals the help they need. So this one's easily an A tier, uh, but it's not an S because uh, there are good moments as well where I get to uh, ride on a, p a polar bear. Let's, let's have a look at what that one means. <laughs> I don't even know how to Google this one. Um, this site seems trustworthy. Implies that you are in need of affection. You want contact and guidance. Being lonely is dangerous for you. You are a friendly person who thrives in community. This all feels a bit too uh, dreamy and spiritual, and not psychological. I want I want a psychiatrist to be telling me what's wrong with me. I don't want someone to be giving me a personality test based on this. I can't really find a clear answer on this. Most of them just seem like a uh, horoscope kind of, you know, holistic bollocks. But uh, I'm going to guess that I dream about this a lot because animals are cool and I like to pet a lot of animals. Uh, one of the good things about it though is uh, I never dream about animals attacking me which uh, I feel like would be a more common uh, animal dream, you know, but it's the animals are always chill. The next one up doesn't happen too often, uh, thankfully, but uh, when it does, I, I remember it quite vividly, uh, and it's being stabbed with a fucking knife or something. Uh, it's usually someone I know <laughs> as well, it's usually someone very close to me is... Uh, just randomly pulls out a knife and fucking stabs me in the middle of a conversation. And uh, this one kind of just shits me up because of a any time you get stabbed or hurt in a dream physically, it, it feels so real while you're in the dream. So w when you get stabbed, I don't know, like, all I remember is the physical sensation of, like, feeling like I've been stabbed and then waking up and, you know, checking the area and making sure that everything's cool. And I didn't you know, empower myself on something in the night. This one is a B tier, would be higher if it happened more often, but
but thankfully uh, it's only happened a few times. So, fingers crossed for the future. What does being stabbed in a dream mean? <clears throat> Do you fear getting cheated in business or by your part? <clears throat> I feel like a lot of these are all just pointing to uh, trust issues. I'm finding out that... Well, not really finding out, but more just... Uh, To dream of being stabbed with a knife represents pain. Y yeah. Yeah. Consequences or embarrassment you are experiencing for resisting something in your, your life that you disagree with. It's all so vague, but uh, it feels bad. Next, what, next up, I think, is one of the classics. Uh, teeth falling out or just breaking. Yeah, I've had a lot of... Dentist work. I'm English, so it just comes with the territory. I think the dreams never involve going to a dentist. It's always just like they fall out or some shit randomly, and then I panic about it for a while, and then I wake up and I, uh, you know, think something is horribly wrong. Uh, th this one is a lot like the knife one in the, you know, it's the physical sensation of it. It feels so real at the time that when you wake up. You, you know, you're scared that you've somehow, like, you know, clenched your teeth so hard that you did actually break something or something, something like that. Uh, the, the difference is this one happens uh, a lot more often than being stabbed. So this one is going to A tier, boys. I'm, I'm keeping that S tier clear. I'm keeping that S tier clear for the, for the big, big boy. I'm pretty sure the meaning of this dream is just that, uh, I'm self-conscious about my teeth, but we'll give it a Google anyway. Deep personal loss, oh no. Personal loss, stress, anxiety, fears, insecurity, uh, poor nutrition could be an issue. I mean, it's just like any possible negative thing could lead to this dream, it seems like. But uh, I am experiencing the majority of those, so... It's not been a, uh, not been a good year. Now this next one, I'm excited to present to you, because it is uh, an all-time classic. Uh, be being stuck in a fucking classroom at school. I'm 23, I haven't been in education for quite a while. And I'm still getting these dreams. I'm, I think I'm just going to get them forever. It, it, usually it starts with me realising I'm late for school, you know, and I need to get there right before uh, the lesson starts. Sometimes I'm late for the lesson and I'm the last one to arrive. Uh, and then when I get into the lesson, I realise I'm a fucking adult and I don't, I don't want to be there. I want to I wanna smoke a cigarette, you know, and the teacher's like, you can't do that. This is school. And uh, I just get really annoyed and I can't leave the room. It, it's always like I'm just trapped in a fucking classroom. And I get this one so fucking often. So often. Yeah, so often. I don't... I would really hate this dream. It's just so fucking boring. I fucking... I fucking hate just sitting in a goddamn classroom sometimes it's exam season uh and i'm in an exam filling out the test paper and i just get halfway through and i realize i don't care so i just try to leave uh and i can't uh you know and everyone's telling me i'm gonna foul and uh you know all of this stuff i'm gonna get expelled and everything and i'm just like dude i just I just want to get like shit faced, you know. What I mean, I just want, I just want to get out. Not, fa not favorite for me. What's this one mean? Personally, I think getting this dream just means I'm a cool kid uh, who thinks school's lame. Trying to make sure that your subconscious mind recognizes that there is a problem. But what problem? What? What medication do I need to take for this is all I'm trying to find. 
The dreamer has to learn important dream can suggest that you need to pay attention to issues in feelings of emptiness. You need to be in touch with your maternal instincts. You need to lay a solid foundation in order to grow. This is all just complete bollocks. Uh, this one, surprisingly, is an S tier. This is this is a real cult classic for me. Uh, started at a young age when I started school, and it there's no end in sight really. I think this is just it. This is the majority of my dreams now. Are um, trying to escape my primary and secondary school. Being chased is thankfully not a dream I get too often. And when I do, this is like one of the only dreams that for some reason I can snap myself out of. Like, as, as soon as someone starts chasing me in a dream, there's something that happens in my brain that's just like, you can wake yourself up from this, like, in a second. It's the only type of scary dream that I can do that in, where I can just be out of it immediately. Uh, so this one is pretty chill in my books. Uh, we're going to put this at a uh, D for... My dick, uh, which my subconscious can suck because I've outmaneuvered it <laughs> with my weird, very specific um, lucid dreaming that only happens in that one scenario. <laughs> being chased in a dream. Dreams about falling or being chased may indicate experiencing anxiety or conflict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically anxiety, stress, negativity, any bad thing can lead to this dream. Uh, I'm starting to realise that the meaning for most dreams uh, or nightmares that you get is just... You're just feeling bad. <laughs> so you're having a nightmare. That's pretty much the meaning of it. This next dream is gaining quite some traction. Uh, recently and it's being in a wild car sometimes I'm driving it and that's interesting because uh, I don't know how to drive so uh, you know when you're someone who doesn't know the fundamentals of how a car works uh, and you're driving a car in your dream uh, it works very weird um, and you don't always understand what you're doing and you end up crashing or driving off cliffs um, but probably the ones that shit me up the most are where other people are driving. And uh, I've got a picture specifically on the tier list of cars going over like a very long bridge, you know, that's very tall. Because a lot of the time, you know, it's like we're in a, a packed traffic on in the middle of this huge bridge and it starts swaying or breaking, you know, and that's that's the worst case scenario of this sort of dream. Uh, so but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this one at a... I'm going to put this one in a B tier, because it's not too bad compared to the next one. Uh, I'm not even going to fucking bother googling the meaning, I'm just going to make one up on the spot, because I feel like that's what most people are doing in these goddamn articles. Being in a car where someone else is driving irresponsibly could mean uh, trust issues, you don't trust other people to handle responsibility. You've found a job interview recently. You're on the rocks with your wife. No one's talked about divorce yet, but it's in the air. You have five kids and none of them are listening to you. Maybe, maybe that's what it means. You have a fear of commitment and snakes. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares? I probably should, because I'm making this video, but... And now we're on to the last boy. I left this one till last because it is the ultimate... Uh, shit me up dream uh, am I actually would it ruin it if I moved everything down a spot uh, that's probably bad practice in tier list videos right to rearrange everything right at the end that would be I feel like everyone would be like that's very amateur that's a very amateur thing to do in fucking aeroplanes don't know why every single day I'm in a fucking aeroplane. I've always been a pretty anxious flyer because I have a fear of heights, but uh, in real life it's never caused too much of an issue. I, you know, I can get through plane trips. Uh, but in my dreams, oh my god, do those plane trips go wrong? The, the fucking planes are doing loop-de-loops in the sky, uh, fucking crashing into the ocean, into cliffs, into buildings, and I, I'm always on them. I always need to be somewhere in another country. 
for some reason. Fuck off, fly. Piss me off, fucking dumb cunt. How did you get in in the first place? How did you get in in the first place? Fuck off. Backhand. Do you want me to backhand you again? I just backhanded a fly. Yeah, this one just uh, sucks. Being in an aeroplane that's crashing is probably the dream that uh, you know I wake up with the most uh, li liquid leaving my body, and not in the good way. <laughs> oh, shout out to dreams when I'm falling. I th I did put an image up, but uh, I just realised it isn't in the tier list and. Would you expect me, like, I'm not going to re-record re, re everything just to have the fucking falling image there. You know, we just, we just fucking put a falling image at, like, A. I guess, I don't know. S-A. Uh, who cares? Who gives a shit? Bro, just see how many fucking nightmares I had. Like, I don't fucking care where they rank. My mind is so fucked. The stress and anxiety and di uh, difficulties maintaining relationships that I'm having uh, that are causing these stressful dreams. What have we learned?